So, how are you this morning? Great. Great, all right. It's glad to hear that. So, first of all, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Dewa Ayu Sriyadi Masuki. You can call me Gatuti, and I'm here to be a local tour guide for today's tour in Kartagos. So, have you got your ticket first? Uh, yes, right? Yes? All right. So, before we start our tour, there's a kind of reminders because this is a historical building. All I need is you to keep your manners and always listen to the directions. So, all right, let's just get inside. Yeah. Please follow me. All right, so the first building that we're visit today is Bali Kertagosa. So, the name of Bali Kertagosa is coming from a Sanskrit, namely Kerta means peaceful and Gosa means non-summon. So Bali Kertagosa was a place for the kings to hold deliberations regarding peace and prosperity uh, for the kingdom which includes the fields of security and peace. And of course if you can look at the top of the ceiling over here, it's decorated with the Kamasan style painting. Uh, and most of the paintings tell telling uh, different tales ranging from karma and reincarnation to passes of human life, from birth to death, and towards nirvana. And if you can see over here, this is the consultation chairs for the kings and the representative and the guests to come and sit here to do a meeting discussions. So, uh, is there any questions? Uh, I want to ask something. What is Kamasan? Oh, Kamasan? Alright, so Kamasan itself is actually a name of a village in Kung Kung, renowned by the typical Balinese traditional uh, shadow puppet figures, which we call Waya. Alright, so is anything clear? Yeah. Alright, so we're going to move on to the, to the next building over there, which is Balai Kambang. So please follow me. All right, now we're in Balai Kambang. So why this building called Balai Kambang is because this building is surrounded, surrounded by a pool called Gilik Pool. And that's why Balai Kambang itself can be translated as a floating hall. And in this building, you also can see the Kamasan painting over there. You see? Yes, and this building was also used as a place to do a religious ceremony such as matata or to cut the children in Balinese, especially for royal children at Kung Kung Kingdom at that time. And if you can see the view around this building, it's so pretty, right? Yeah, right. yeah and that's why this building was also used as a place to do a pre-wedding photo shoot. All right, now, is there any questions? No. No. All right, so now we're going to the west to see other buildings. Let's follow me. All right, now we're already in front of Puri Pumadal Agung building, if you can see over there. So this building is so sacred because uh, there's a mystical story about it that uh, the colonial Dutch didn't dare to destroy this building because when they come here, they felt like they were in ocean. So that's why this building is still sacred until now and no one ever dared to renovate or open the door of this building. And this building was also the main gate to enter uh, Purismarajaya, which is the center of Kung Kung Kingdom government at that time. So, uh, is there any question? No? no. Alright, so we're going to move on to the next building over there, which is Sumarajaya Museum. So, please follow me. Alright, now we're already in front of the Museum Sumarajaya. So, in here you can see this is a statue of Ida Ana Agung Istri Kania, which is the first female king or queen in a Klungkung kingdom at that time. And previously, this building uh, was built and functions as a school by the Dutch after the collapse of Kung Kung Kingdom. And in this building, it has a four different rooms, which is a prehistory room over there, and history room, tra traditional tools, and a traditional arts over there. So let's just get inside yeah. of this museum. Let's go. Please follow me. All right. 
right now we're already inside of the museum of Samara Jaya. So in here you can pay attention to a lot of things such as those rocks over there. Yeah, this rock is functions as a pound at that time. And in here you also can see a lot of tools for daily life such as the Arakan Cutter, the key, the battle find founders and many more. And in here you can also see a lot of keris and spears as a tools for fighting against the Dutch at that time. So, is there any questions? No. No? Alright, so we're going to move on to the next room over there. Yeah. Please follow me. Alright, so in this room, if you can see over here, there's a lot of documentations of Kung Kung Kingdom. Uh, such as these photos of Ida I Dewa Agung Gede Jambe, which is the king of a Kung Kung Kingdom at that time. And of course in here you can see there's a lot of tools for fighting such as a cannon bullet and there's also some kris in here. Alright, so is there any questions? No. No? Alright, so we're just, we're just going outside now to see the beautiful view of this building. Alright, let's go. Alright, so how do you feel after looking around at this great building? Nice, I'm so happy. Okay, it's glad to hear that. So, I'm so sorry to say this, but due to the time limit, we must end our tour. And of course, you can exploring more this, about this building and capture a moment in here. And thank you so much for visiting Cartagosa and trusting me as your local tour guide. So, I think that's all from my information today. Yeah. Thank you very much and see you next time. Nice to meet you.